The Titanic has sank. So far or twice, it will sink many more times before tonight is over. Because it's time to finish up this game. It's time to see all these different timelines that we could have gotten. So the way that this game went is that we got an ending where we had no items. We got an ending where we had all the items. Now we have to get different endings where we have different combinations of items. So there are three things that seem to be important. One is that Vlad either cannot get both the diamonds and the rubiat and then he loses, or he can get either the necklace or the rubiat and he wins. That's one of the variables. The second is the painting. Either we escape with the painting or we don't get the painting. That's the second. The third is either we escape the boat with the notebook or we don't have the notebook. That's the third variable, it seems. So, <clears throat> we got two of these endings. We're going to get different combinations and uh, see what we can get. So, we're going to load this game. Don't need to see that. We, what we need to see is this. Open. Okay, so I looked at this before and it seemed that save number 111. Yes, here we are. We have the card. I have the Rubiat. I have the fake necklace. I have the notebook. Just make sure of that. Here's the notebook. Okay. Let's see. Let's try to escape the ship with only the notebook. We won't have the necklace. We will not have the painting. Let's see what we get if we do that. Have to remember how to how to get off the boat. Yeah, let's go to the mains. You've come to get me to leave. I'm not going. Well, yeah, that's right. If we wanted to get the necklace, we would need your shawl. But we're not going for it now. So, you know. We went for it. Yeah, you gave me the shawl anyway. I appreciate that. You know, I was surprised at how important that shawl turned out to be. Didn't know what we would do with it. For it to turn out that we could use it to get the necklace because Vlad could disguise himself as a lady using that and get off... You know, that's not, that's not, I didn't expect that. I didn't see that coming. That's not what I thought would have happened with that. Oh, Mouse. Acting up early. I believe in you, Mouse. I believe the battery can hold out before, before we're done with the game. I believe I will not have to change this battery before we are done with Titanic. We survived the Titanic. The Mouse can, can survive the stream. All right, so we have the notebook. It's the only item that we have because the Rubiat doesn't count because we don't have the necklace to go with it. How you doing? See what I said about moonless nights. So I wonder, can I just give him the card to get the get to a lifeboat? Would you like something? So if I give him this, I, we haven't tried this yet. Will this work? Would you like this boat pass? What is this claptrap? Try your trick on one of the sailors. It's women and children first. Okay, so I was wondering, why would he let us on the lifeboat just because we have this card? In a few minutes. Women and children first, please. Ladies, step forward. Your husbands will come later. That's it. Step up. And it turns out he's not. I say, old Bean. Hey, old Bean. I, you know, I already know what you have to say. Okay, so he's not going to let us on with the card. And I was wondering why would he why would that count? Why would that matter? And it doesn't, I guess? Well, he said try it on the sailors. Hey you. Stand clear. Loading boats 9, 11, and 13. Women and children to the boats. Would you like I don't know why this would get me on the lifeboat, but do you want it? The pass. Oh, you know what it is. Self wouldn't be so bold. Here, get in. Alright, you're accepting it. See, Officer Morrow. Like he does, he's, he's not, he doesn't care about all this nonsense. He's like, you have this card that has like a skeleton on it. Why would I let you get on the lifeboat because you have that? And uh, you know, he was right in refusing us. But well, we'll skip this. We've already seen the sinking. He was right in refusing us, but uh, the sailors took it for some. I don't know. I don't understand. Anyway, we have the notebook and nothing else. So let us see what ending we get. 
Vlad left the Titanic with the real necklace. The money garnered from the sale would finance the violent assassination of Archduke Ferdinand at Sarajevo in 1914. The World War followed. As for the painting, it went down with the ship. Fortunately, Shayla and the baby survived. I left the ship with Willie's notebook. Eventually, it found its way to the Russians. The Tsar's secret police were grateful. And the names Stalin, Lenin, and Trotsky vanished from history. The communist revolution aborted. With no revolutions disrupting it, the Romanov dynasty continued to rule in Russia. When the Nazis attacked, an old and feeble Tsar proved no match for Hitler. And neither were we. In 1939, Nazi Germany conquered the Russian Empire before turning its fury against the West. Britain surrendered three days ago. Now we take our place behind Germany in a Europe ruled by hate and national socialism. They hung Churchill yesterday. If only the past could be changed. Schnell! All right. Okay. Um... Oh, we didn't get credits, so that means that we got a bad ending. I guess I got credits that one time because I got the real one, the good ending. All right, so I'm going to guess that's probably the worst of the endings. We did not stop World War I. We did not stop World War II. We did stop the Russian Revolution, but the old and uh, archaic czar and his mode of government was no match for Hitler and his forces. So Hitler won and then just took over England and, uh, you, you, well, you see what happens. We, we died. It's it, us dying seems like the least important part of that ending. It's that, well, everything just went as bad as it possibly could have. All right, so that's what happens if we get the notebook, but we do not have anything else. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of this, Mr. Hitler. What if we got his painting off the ship so he could go on to become a, fa a famous but mediocre artist and not do any of this world conquest stuff? What if we what if we made that happen? Oh, what's this? That was a new audio track. Does it just put us back in the beginning of the game? So can we just keep retrying until we eventually uh get a better ending? I guess that's what is happening there. All right. Open. Let's put up, uh, bring up 111. Okay, we have the card. We have the, um, uh, the, the notebook. So. Uh, no, that's aft. Can we get to another location from here? Maybe not. Maybe it's only aft. Yeah. Go through there. Lounge, get shawl. If you've come to get me to leave, I, I know. Give me your shawl. You don't. You didn't. You don't look like you were wearing a shawl, but I guess you had one. All right. Um. Hey, you. You are proving surprisingly hardy. So perhaps you'll honor one more request. The evening's last. It would seem. Sure, I'll make a deal with you. A wise decision. You could save a life. Whose life? The Lady Georgia's, of course. I've poisoned her. Uh, what sort of poison? If you decide against helping me, she will die. But if you cooperate, the antidote for her. Why, there goes Mr. Ismay. He's abandoning ship. Not just the women and children. The president of the line gets a seat, too. So, will you help? Yeah, I'll do whatever you want. Good. Listen closely. The painting. The one Willy hid from me. Find it. I wait here. Bring me the painting. You shall get the antidote. 
Where is the painting? Billy was always expounding his ideas. Sadly, he neglected to share his last one. Look for it. Well, I know where it is. I still never really understood why I would do this, though. If you though. refuse, the Lady Georgia will die. Are we clear? Good. I despise miscommunication. Find the painting. Well, I still don't know why I would give it to him. It's That still has not become clear. Anyway, we know where the painting is. And we know what little, um, little trade that we have to do to, to get that painting. Where's every, now where are the people I'm looking for? Uh, not he, no, yeah, there you are. Um, let me just, I'm getting on that boat. You know, talk to her to confirm she has the baby. Stay away, I'm warning you. She is the baby. I say All right, you're gonna tell me that the uh, the people with the painting are in the. Suit yourself, then, Cheerio. You're gonna tell me that the people with the painting are in the um, second class stairwell, which is over here. I wonder where Lady Georgia is. Maybe she's in her cabin. Closed. I'm on important Good business. Luck. Good luck. Maybe we should visit her. Hello. That bastard Conklin and his wife. We got, we got Peyton, and he, give me the letter. Go, go back up. Oh, I got finished my business. me the child he's mine now no one will know he'll have a good life with me instead of that's right but i have something that uh that you the want letter. though you got the letter you have it and it turns out you didn't really want the baby after all i got it hey check out this baby glory be a baby how is the mission going i got a baby good job we need to get all these objects off the ship safely The sailors are giving priority to women and children. If worse comes to worse, give me the evidence. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. There are still quite a few boats left. Uh, yep, yeah, people going. Time passing. My orders are. You know, I got business. You, I, I shouldn't have to tell you more than once how important my business is. You got him back. That would be really weird from that guy's perspective. Like, I, he sees me running downstairs. He sees me running back up. Then he sees me running back down with a baby. And then I run back up. No baby. And then I'm, all, I, all I can say is that I've got important business to take care of. Hush now. Hush. Right, she, he's going to have to stay behind, and she's coming. I'll never forget what she done. Put her on the boat. Uh, so we have the painting, and we have the notebook. We do not have the necklace. So, let's see. Any gullible sailors for me to talk to? What about you? I'm clear. Back now. What is it? I'm loaded no boats now. It'll be Officer Morrow who decides who's leaving. Would you like this card? I don't know why anyone wants the card, but do you want it? I guess we don't have to wait for Morrow. Boat two's ready for launching. I still don't understand. Anyway, we have the painting, we have the notebook. So Hitler is not going to lead Germany. Uh, he's just going to become an artist, and what happens now? Vlad left the Titanic with the real necklace. The money garnered from the sale would finance the violent assassination of Archduke Ferdinand at Sarajevo in 1914. The World War followed. As for the painting, it left with me. 
<laughs> the plans proved useless. In the month following the sinking, the war office scrapped the proposed deployments in a cost-cutting measure. But the canvas? <laughs> As the only artifact saved from the Titanic, the painting became famous. Along with its creator, a rather excitable Austrian named Adolf Hitler, who makes a lucrative career to this day, peddling overpriced alpine vistas to the carriage trade. I left the ship with Willie's notebook. Eventually, it found its way to the Russians. The Tsar's secret police were grateful, and the names Stalin, Lenin, and Trotsky vanished from history. The communist revolution aborted. Following Germany's defeat in the Great War, the communists seized power in Berlin. They organized, they waited. Weakened by the Great Depression, the democracies gradually fell under communism's sway. Today, April 14, 1942, Britain has joined the rest of Europe in a communist union, ruled from the German Politburo in Berlin. We are to work unceasingly to build a worker's paradise. From each according to his abilities, to each according to his needs. Those who disagree with the new order are to be liquidated. If only the past could be changed. Pajom! We have once again been killed. I believe that was by a German soldier instead of Russian. Uh, so, okay, World War I happened. Um, but without Hitler doing his Hitler things, uh, Russia, the communists took over, not Russia, but the communists took over Germany. And now Europe is a, a, a communist continent, a commutant, so to speak. Um, and, and now we are, it, we're all ruled. Everyone's ruled from, from Germany doing communist business. I like how, I like how ominous that one line, the, uh, the Marx line is that's said at the end. Um, all right. So that's what happens if we get the painting to take, to get Hitler out of the picture, but we also have the notebook. So the czar stays in power. The communists had to go somewhere. I guess Germany. I guess Germany. So, that's if we have two out of the three. Now, of course, we have seen all three, which is the world peace ending. Let's head back to save, good old save 111. Okay. So, I have the notebook. Uh, what I could do now is get the necklace, but leave the painting behind. So Hitler would come into power, but uh, Franz Ferdinand would not be assassinated. So World War I just doesn't happen. And since I have the notebook, that means the Tsar stays in power. So what happens then? Oh wait, did I not- wait, she did not- she did not give me the- oh, I have to reload, I guess. I guess because I pressed escape and not actually talked. Because this time I am gonna need her shawl. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. If you've come to get right. me to leave, I'm not going. I'm not leaving Willie. I know. Wants to stay near Willie. On the ship. Well, head down to the Turkish bath, because that's where he is. We met here I know. in the lounge the first night out. He introduced himself. Go up to the he lifeboats. No? There it is. Okay. All right. So we have the shawl, which is what we need. Gonna head outside. And what I want. Let's 
let's see. No, not that way. This, yeah. Second class stairs. We're not going to bother with the painting this time, however. Important business, one side. Important, but ex extremely important. Hello, you two. I'm not talking. You can just, you can, I don't know, just do whatever you need to do. Heading down to the F deck. Cabins, continuing to head down, further down, further down into the sinking ship, so get to the turbine room, and get to take some stairs down, oh, over here, uh, let's see, there we go. And here's Vlad. Let's have a little chat with him. And Sasha. Is he dead? Yes. Sasha cared only for himself. Not Serbia. Not the Black Hand. This is war. Deserters are shot. Like dogs. Maybe you want this. The English Lord's necklace. It is mine. To sell. The money for the Black Hand. Then you will see. Somewhere. Sometime, within a month, in a year, we strike. We will start a fire. A fire that will destroy the Austria oppressors. Destroy Europe. And all Serbs will know freedom. I must leave. I must get on a lifeboat. Once again, I must ask for your help. Find a way to let me... Seems weird that he's just asking for our help after this little speech he gave to us. I, you know, I can do it. How? You're going to put this shawl on your head and that'll... Sure. Disguise? No. I die like a man. But it won't help your cause. You can get me into the first class? To the boats? What can I give you? The real necklace. Never. It is for Serbia. <laughs> Quickly, what do you take? The real necklace. Take it. And give me... Give it to me! If I disguise myself, I can reach the boats. The sea! It's coming in! Alright. We got the necklace. So we have the necklace and the rubiot, so Vlad loses. And we also have the notebook, which means that the Tsar wins. We do not have the painting, which means Hitler will Hitler it up. Uh, so what, what, what happens in that? specific timeline. <laughs> by by uh, Vlad losing, that means World War One isn't going to happen. The game does kind of ignore that Hitler fought in World War One. I. I guess that doesn't actually affect that he what, what he does in his later life. I suppose, according to this version of history. Uh, okay, so we have, yeah, we have what we need. Can we leave at this point? Oh, by the way, what happens if I answer your question correctly? It's because he asked me about this in like forty days. Exactly. You are blessed with fortune. Comfort, Miss Limehouse. She is in the first class lounge. All right, so if I answer that qu uh, that question correctly, he tells me where uh, Claire is, and then if I talk to her, I get the shawl, which I need for Vlad. Women and children, and maybe people with this card? The pass! The devil himself wouldn't be so bold. Here, get in. And off we go. Give us a new timeline. Vlad left the sinking ship without the Rubiot. 
nor did he have the real Lambeth diamonds. The Black Hand never got its funds, money intended to finance a wave of terrorism across the Balkans. One of the intended targets, the heir to the Austrian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. His murder might have started a war. We were lucky, we got peace instead. As for the painting, it went down with the ship. Fortunately, Shayla and the baby survived. I left the ship with Willie's notebook. Eventually, it found its way to the Russians. The Tsar's secret police were grateful. And the names Stalin, Lenin, and Trotsky vanished from history. The communist revolution aborted. With no revolutions disrupting it, the Romanov dynasty continued to rule in Russia. When the Nazis attacked, an old and feeble Tsar proved no match for Hitler. And neither were we. In 1939, Nazi Germany conquered the Russian Empire before turning its fury against the West. Britain surrendered three days ago. Now we take our place behind Germany in a Europe ruled by hate and national socialism. They hung Churchill yesterday. If only the past could be changed. Schnell! So that was exactly the same, I think. So World War I, in the grand scheme of things, was irrelevant. Whether, whether it happens or not, it's just going to happen, just not actually going to make a difference in the course of history, I suppose. According to this game, anyway. So, okay. So we have seen Notebook by itself. We have seen Notebook and Painting. And then, of course, we have seen Notebook, Painting, Necklace, and Rubiot. Uh, we have now seen Notebook, Necklace, and Rubiot. So I think we have seen every permutation of the Notebook. Pretty sure. And if that's the case, that means I'm going to have to load an earlier save because 111, I have the notebook. In 110, I also have the notebook. Let me see 109. What was happening here? I do not have the notebook. Am I in uh, Zytel's cabin? I am. There's the notebook there. We're not taking it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do this thing with the bomb. Can I solve it? The answer is no. And I give up. And we're going to leave the notebook behind. All right. So, I have the Rubiot and fake necklace. Let us go get the diamonds and nothing else. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go? Aft grand. Okay, no. We want uh, the main staircase. I am going to have to wait to the end, I suppose, because I don't have the, the pass with me. And if I don't have the pass, that means that uh, I guess I'm just going to have to wait until the last second before Mara lets us on a boat. I'm not leaving Willie. I want to stay near him on the ship. Willie's dead. Left boats. Thank you for Shaw. Yeah, I mean, just back here, so I could go up top. Alright, so now let us start our hunt for Vlad. Here. Down we go. I know. Important business, you understand.
is down here with his dead friend who only cared about money and never really cared about Serbia. You have found me. I found you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get, get you into first class. What? Give you the shawl. It won't help your cause. Yes, necklace. Ne yes, necklace. Give me it, give me necklace. All right. We have necklace. We have Rubiat, which means Vlad loses, and that's the only thing. Those are the only things we have. So that means if we get off the boat, World War One doesn't happen, but Hitler will come into power. But the Russian Revolution does happen. So what result? Actually, let me save here. So we will be we have this this stuff when we come back for the uh the painting after this ending I made it Here are these two. Oh, actually, I think he's offering me to get on the boat now. I don't know how he how he has a spot, but okay. Yes, do get in. We so enjoy the company. Hoist a leg, old bean. In you go. Yep, off we go. Tell them we did our best. And once again, they did their best. All right, what happens? I don't know how those two had a spot on the, a spot on the boat. Vlad left the sinking ship without the Rubiot, nor did he have the real Lambeth diamonds. The Black Hand never got its funds, money intended to finance a wave of terrorism across the Balkans. One of the intended targets, the heir to the Austrian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. His murder might have started a war. We were lucky. We got peace instead. As for the painting, it went down with the ship. Fortunately, Shayla and the baby survived. I never retrieved Willie's notebook. The German support of the Russian revolutionaries continued. Meanwhile, the rest of Europe and America enjoyed a prosperous peace. What did we gain? Complacency. In 1927, Adolf Hitler toppled the Kaiser and channeled the power of German science and industry into weapons production. The democracies, lulled by decades of uninterrupted affluence, ignored him. The Germans have had a six-year lead in the race to unlock the secrets of nuclear fission. Now that the world war has begun, I wonder if the question is not whether Hitler will use his atomic weapons, but when, if only the past could be changed. Atomic Nazis? So, since there was no World War I, we grew soft and complacent. You see, humanity needs war to keep us on our edge, to keep us sharp, you know, to keep us motivated, keep us studying and working towards the betterment of technology because we need it to kill other people. And if we don't have that, then we just become, you know, stagnant. So, but Germany was continuing to work on their, their, techno their ways of war and their technology all that time, so they beat us to the atomic bomb and then he just you know hitler just dropped bombs everywhere so that's what happens if world war one doesn't happen but uh, hitler comes into power and also the russian revolution happens well atomic nazis seems like it's a pretty bad timeline um i wonder how many endings involve atomic nazis so let's see that one um like, all these endings, we end up dying. It's just like, with this one, we ended up dying because we were atomized by the atomic bomb instead of being shot by a soldier. 
All right. So in that one, we we got the necklace, um, necklace and Rubiat, right? So that means the next one we would want would be necklace, Rubiat, and painting, but no notebook. I believe. So what we can do is I can load that game that I uh, that I saved, which is after we get the the necklace. So I have the necklace now. Hey you two, what's going on? That bastard Conklin and his wife has So they have the painting. They want they gave me the letter. Use the letter to get the baby. You made it. I did. Um, so let's see. That's that's need to remember where there she is. What do you want? I want the baby. Have the letter. The letter. Okay, now I have baby. What happens if I leave the ship with the baby? I say, old bean. Yeah, I'll get on the boat with my infant child. Yes, do get in. We so enjoy the company. Hoist a leg, old bean. In you go. I don't know if that will actually change anything. This might just be the exact same thing that we just got. Vlad left the yep, sinking that's right. Without the ruby Vlad on. failed and was very mad. I like the idea that someone took this picture of him. Maybe as he was on a lifeboat. Money intended to finance. Well, he wouldn't really have like a portable camera at that time. It would have to be like the camera would be a much bigger affair. But someone took a picture of him and he was very angry at that time. His murder might have started a war. Yeah, it's a good thing that war never happened. We got peace instead. And a baby. As for the painting, the painting, yeah. Went down with the ship. Fortunately, Shayla and the baby survived. No, they did. Well, one of them did. The baby survived because I took it on the boat, but Shayla was not there. Continued. Okay, so I guess there is no difference. Shayla always survives, though, even if we don't do anything to give her the baby. Uh, I think it, in those endings, she was still listed as having survived. So I don't know. That uh, it doesn't seem like our actions affect anything when it comes to that. So this is going to be the same ending that we got before. The, the, the democracies of the world became complacent and fat and lazy because we didn't have anyone to kill. And people need someone to kill. We can't better ourselves without murder. So here comes the Nazi atomic bomb. But when? If only the past could be changed. I mean, the game starts with us being bombed by Nazis, but they weren't atomic bombs. Okay. Let's load that. And we're going to do the painting. Going to get that painting. And give Hitler... A comfortable and wealthy life, but one in which he will not actually kill anyone or lead any countries. So, at least there's that. Hitler will grow up to be someone's racist uncle who gets invited to family dinners every so often and then just kind of rants about the immigrants. And they're like, oh, Uncle Adolf, we're just trying to have a nice meal. And, like, he's harmless because he can't do anything. The letter. Just goes to show you that whenever you, th you think about that racist uncle of yours, what if he had some kind of power? Good luck. Might not be so harmless then. I got your baby. Back. Yes. I'll never forget... Uh, yes, I have painting. Um, all right, I have painting, Rubiat, necklace. I do not have. Well, maybe they can get those two can get me on the boat again. Are they around here? Not sure if I missed them. Oh, there they are. 
I'll get on the boat. Yes, do get in. Tell them we did our best. Vlad left the sinking ship without the Vlad is so angry. Or did he have the real Lambeth diamonds? The Black Hand never got its funds. Money intended to finance a wave of terrorism across the Balkans. One of the intended targets, the heir to the Austrian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. His murder might have started a war. We were lucky. We got peace instead. As for the painting, it left with me. <laughs> the plans proved useless. In the month following the sinking, the war office scrapped the proposed deployments in a cost-cutting measure. But the canvas? <laughs> As the only artifact saved from the Titanic, the painting became famous. Along with its creator, a rather excitable Austrian named Adolf Hitler, who makes a lucrative career to this day peddling overpriced alpine vistas to the carriage trade. I never retrieved Willie's notebook. The German support of the Russian revolutionaries continued. War was avoided, but not bloodshed. In Russia, the communists overthrew the Tsar, exchanging one empire for another, though Lenin could not have seized power without Germany's support. The new Soviet Union proved no friend to the Kaiser as the Soviet Union began a decade-long campaign to bring communism to Europe. In 1931, weakened by the Great Depression, the German Empire collapsed. With Berlin no longer a check against communist expansion, the communist tidal wave swept over Europe. Today, April 14, 1942, it's Britain's turn. They say we've lost our chains, but it's our freedom that's vanished instead. If only the past could be changed. Man, we can't escape any of these endings without getting killed. Okay, so Germany was weak and Russia was strong, and Russia swept over the continent of Europe, spreading its communism. So basically, Command and Conquer Red Alert happened. Like, if we wanted to see a sequel to this ending, we would play Red Alert, and that's basically the future of this ending, uh, is I guess how that goes. So, um, let's, let's, let me think. We, ha we got the ending where we got nothing. We got the ending where we had necklace and rubiat. We got the necklace where we had the neck the ending where we had uh, necklace, rubiat, and um, and uh, painting. And of course, we have the ending where we got all the items. We got the ending where we did not have necklace, but we did have painting, no necklace, painting, and notebook. Did we? I'm th did we get an ending where we just got the painting? I'm thinking about that. If we didn't get the painting, World War One doesn't happen. The Russian Revolution doesn't happen. Yeah, that's just the one where Germany takes over, right? I think we did. We see that one because I think that's basically the same one that we already have seen. I think. I'm just, uh, yeah. Should have probably written down which ones we were getting as we went. Um, but I think we got that one. You know, I think that we'll just take a little 10 minute break. And we're going to come back. Going to going to finish off Titanic. See, you know, just see a few more things maybe that uh maybe we should try to get. Like that whole thing about Georgia being poisoned, like I we should probably see if we can resolve that storyline. I don't think it affects any endings, but we should probably see if we can resolve that. And we should probably also try going down with the ship. Because we haven't seen that either. Okay, gonna come back in ten minutes. Time to change history. Alright, so it does appear that we did not 
get the ending with just the painting. So, let's see. So, I would want, let's see. Which one was it that I needed? What was 109? In 109, I have the Rubiat and Fake Necklace. This is good enough. So we can get out of here. Oh, that's right. For Silly me, I forgot. Here's Bomb. Okay. Kaboom. Do I want to give up? Absolutely. All right. Now, let's get out of here. Which way is it? Grand Staircase. Here we go. It was mentioned by the chat during the break. Do you think it's weird that you can change the, the timelines so much, uh, but at the same time, you cannot save the Titanic? Like, that is a thing that has to happen. There is no way to end this without the Titanic going down. It seems like that would be the easiest thing to do as well. Because you could just, you know, maybe mention to the helmsman, maybe you should take a look at there's like an iceberg up ahead. Maybe they would look a little bit harder. Um, actually, let me, yeah, let me get the letter first. Look a little bit harder and maybe notice that iceberg coming up. Or maybe knock out the helmsman and then, you know... Nobody's allowed above this deck. Move the ship yourself. I'll try to remember you on the way out. Give me the letter. Here's the letter. And maybe like that, maybe the way that the timeline would go is that we would be arrested for assaulting a crew member, but we would be comforted in our knowledge that we saved over a thousand lives that night. And that is the way that we change time. Where her husband is. He hasn't been around as I've been talking to her. Give me the child. He's mine now. No one will know. He'll have a good. I have the letter. I got it. Now I got baby. This important business. For the last time, actually. This is the last important business we I will have. Yes. Yes. Oh, Jack, what are you doing up here? You can't be up here. You have to stay down with the ship. Yes. Okay, good. there you go. You left. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I think it warped me here a little too early. Uh, I don't have the card. So let me look around for the couple. And let's see if they will let me on their lifeboat. There you go. Absolute madhouse, don't you think? People running hither and thither, no organization, no plan of attack. Henry doesn't think the situation calls for panic. Lunatics, all of them, running about like rabbits with a stoat at the hole. The lapse in social order is absolutely shocking. Boats! Ha! Huh. If I were captain. Such people, they're not dressed for first cabin. Like those two immigrants on the second class stairwell. Really, something should be done. The woman's quite upset. Sodding foreigners? I can't possibly get in these boats. I agree. Packing the women off in such crowded quarters. Frightfully cramped. Like tinned mullet. The Titanic is perfectly safe, isn't it? I say, I'm in need of a gin. Not now, Henry, not now. The officer there, he wants me in the boat. They say the smoking room is still open. Goodness, I do believe I hear running water. Perhaps we can play a few hands with that Frenchman. Henry, I do think we should stay here with the boats. Blast it all, Ribena. Pitch yourself in. I say, old Bean, coming with. Let me get on the boat. Yes, do get in. We so enjoy the company. Hoist a leg, old Bean. In you go. All right, so we, we only have painting. What now?
Vlad left the Titanic with the real necklace. The money garnered from the sale would finance the violent assassination of Archduke Ferdinand at Sarajevo in 1914. The World War followed. As for the painting, it left with me. <laughs> the plans proved useless. In the month following the sinking, the war office scrapped the proposed deployments in a cost-cutting measure. But the canvas? <laughs> As the only artifact saved from the Titanic, the painting became famous. Along with its creator, a rather excitable Austrian named Adolf Hitler, who makes a lucrative career to this day, peddling overpriced alpine vistas to the carriage trade. I never retrieved Willie's notebook. The German support of the Russian revolutionaries continued. However, the Allies defeated Germany and imposed a humiliating peace. But not before the German military convinced the revolutionary Russia to leave the war. Eventually, Lenin replaced the feeble Russian Empire with a communist one. There were totalitarian stirrings in Germany as well. But with no strong man to lead them, parties like the Nazis never amounted to much. With Berlin no longer a check against communist expansion, the Soviet tidal wave swept over Europe. Today, April 14th, 1942, it's Britain's turn now. They say we've lost our chains, but it's our freedom that's vanished instead. If only the past could be changed. So that was pretty similar. There were some different graphics there, but that was pretty similar to an ending we got where uh, communism rushes over the over Europe like a, a red tidal wave uh, and then we're shot by a, a Russian soldier. So um, no Hitler to bulwark against communism. And that's how that ending went. Um, all right. So that's all of the variety of uh, different items that we could get to get different endings. Um, and, you know, I guess our character just has the option to keep trying this over and over and over and over again until he gets just right and world peace is achieved forever and ever. But even though we have gotten all these endings now, there is something I want to try. And that is the thing with Zytel. Like that whole thing about... You, well, you remember, we have to save Georgia? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And, like, she, you know, she's a character for whom... Uh, there's, I really have no... Never really, I mean, we never really had any kind of connection with her, so I'm not really sure why we were supposed to care, but... Especially if we have to give Zytel the painting... Let's get the the shawl just in case we need it. We will. Okay. All right. Now let's go talk to Zyla. You are proving. So he poisoned Georgia. Why should I? You must. Why must you I? Poison. Whose life? The lady Georgia. I, what kind of poison? She'll die. I'll sure I'll help. What do we do? Where is the painting? What if I refuse? If ref then Georgia will die. Okay. Or what do you have for? I have nothing. Find it. All right. So, now we're on a mission. You know, at the beginning of the game, it does say that Lord and Lady Lambeth die on the Titanic. So, I don't know if there's really all that much of a, a, a reason for us to actually do this, but... It, mm. They're gonna die anyway. Um... So that means he wants the painting. We have to go get the painting. So we're going to do this again. The reason I loaded that particular save was because I have the card. Um, oh, did I pass by? I oh, it's you two. That's, I'll, I got to finish something. Where was that? Uh, I think I ran by. The, there, there's the door. I have the card in this saved game, just in case if I want to use that. Do our thing. But when we get the painting, gonna go talk to Zytel. Give me the letter. There you go. Hot. 
Didn't think I'd see you. Mm-hmm. Alright, so Zydel's gonna be hanging around somewhere. Well, actually, I don't know, I haven't gotten the painting yet. I only have the letter. I'm getting ahead of myself. I want the baby. I have the letter. Got baby. I wonder if Zydel would be interested in a baby. Probably not. Yep, they're leaving. Quickly now. You got him back. Yep. Yes. Sure. God protect you. All right. Painting. Where is Zytle at? Where's my Z man? Uh, no, not here. There he is. What yeah. do you have for me? Got this. Please. The painting. Hand it to me. Take the painting. Take Thank it. You. And since I am a man of my word, the antidote. And in the spirit of the evening, I will even tell you where she is. Sasha's cabin. A14. Thanks. You have the irritating habit of appearing most unexpectedly. You'll never leave the ship alive. Such disapproving looks. And you are wrong. I will leave the ship alive. Get me off this ship and the painting and its plans are yours. But, okay, you just kind of kind of reversed right there. You, you wanted the painting so much, now you don't want it. I am a patriot. But I prefer to be a living, but not a dead patriot. I think Mr. Riviera has given you something, yes? Do we make a deal? The pass for the painting. You could just cut the painting out and exchange the pass for the antidote. I'll trade. But first, the pass. Okay, I got the painting. Odd little trade there. Let me look at this. Antidote. It says, it says antidote on the flask. The word antidote is engraved on the flask. <laughs> just so you know what it is. All right, um, let's see. I need to... It's Sasha's cabin in, uh, so that's, let's see, where's the, the grand stairwell? Uh, let's see. That's not where we want to be. I have to remember how to get back there from here. Oh, wait, can we go down the stairs to, um, yeah. Did I just go back upstairs? I did. There is a door to the grand stairwell. That's what I need to find. Whoop. Grand staircase. Um, so let's see. Now I need to find the the A cabins. A deck promenade. A deck cabins. And Sasha's. Here, it says antidote right on it. Quickly. God, thank you. Why has he done this? Zaitl poisoned you because he wanted a painting. The one Sasha has, he wouldn't let it out of his sight. Sasha ran below towards the turbine room to retrieve his valuables. Where's Charles, by the way? I don't know. Can it matter now? Well, you should probably get to the lifeboat. Meet me then, on the boat deck, with the necklace. It's a new start. Go, now. We'll leave together. Uh, are we together? I mean, I didn't think we were, but... I don't know. She wants the necklace. Do we have time for the necklace? I do have the... The shawl. I could go get it. Uh, let's see. 
is that one, the door I'm looking for. That's the one. Well, maybe she would take the fake necklace and not know the difference. She didn't know the difference before. I know. She didn't know the difference before. But let's see if we can get her the real one. Right, there you go. Sending out that flare. Um, let's see. All right, Vlad. We don't have much time. Yep. Yeah. Yes. First class. How? Woman. No. Drowning won't help. Necklace. Necklace. There. Yep, I made it. Not much. You're right. There is barely any time left. All right, where is she? Is she on this deck? The officer over there. He might let you on that boat. Save yourself, Georgia. Hurry! Oh God, please hurry! No, hey, he's still here. How is he still alive? You did say that. What can I do to help? Sure. I will help you. Do you need help? The boats are full. There's no more room. No more. When these boats go, that's it. You better try something rash. We'll drown. This, ca this, this is a time for desperate action. They'll throw out somebody else. You need to throw someone out first. I got money. I'll give them thousands. I've got to get on a boat. That's right. Do anything you have to do to get on there. Women and children. Women and children only. I'll shoot. Come closer and I'll... Women and children first. I helped. Did you see that? I was very helpful. He might let you on that boat. I'll join you if I can. Oh, God, please hurry. Are we an item now? I'm not... I'm not sure. Alright, let us ask him about it now. Carlson, you've done your best to help. I did a lot to help. Space for one more. Get in. Down my way. Now! There's no more time. Get I don't know if saving her would actually change the ending. I'm gonna guess not, but let's find out. Vlad left the scene. Yep, Vlad's real mad. Nor did he have the real Lambeth diamonds. Yeah, he was complete failure. Never got its funds. Money intended to finance a wave of terrorism across the Balkans. One of the intended targets, the heir to the Austrian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. His murder might have started a war. So many timelines in which he either was we got killed or not killed based As on money. Meeting, it left with me. <laughs> so was there, I don't remember a point in the game where it established that there were like hidden plans on the painting. Maybe if I had examined it more or something, I don't know. Canvas. I don't remember anyone saying that, but in when you get to the ending, it does say that there were uh, British plans on the, on the painting. Along with its creator, a rather excitable Austrian named Adolf Hitler, who makes a lucrative career to this day. 
peddling overpriced alpine vistas to the carriage trade. I left the ship with Willie's notebook. Eventually, it found its way to the Russians. The Tsar's secret police were grateful, and the names Stalin, Lenin, and Trotsky vanished from history. The communist revolution aborted. I didn't really realize it then, but that night 30 years ago was one of history's most crucial. Though the Titanic carried 1,500 to the death. So does that mean Penny died? Because it shows her picture when we say that. Our mission was a success. With I don't know why she would have died. She was right there by the lifeboats the whole time. Prosperity and progress has flowed into every corner of the globe. Bringing humanity a security known only to the privileged few before the Titanic sailed. Today, on April 14th, 1942, I am leaving the service to retire in a world at peace. One can only imagine how different it could have been, would have been, if we had failed. But fortunately we didn't, and everyone lived happily ever after. Okay, now the game is going to crash. So let me just, um, hold on, let me just switch to this. Honk. And I'm going to get the game going back up. And I'm also going to have to, like, do a thing where I bring up the task manager. And I'm going to have to change the affinity of the EXE to only use one core. Otherwise, the game crashes a lot. It's kind of weird. Okay, I think... Okay, there we go. Game is back up. All right, so once again, that was the best ending. And I guess that means... Uh-oh, my mouse not working again. Come on, mouse, you can do it. We only have, like, one more thing to look at. There's only, like, one more thing. We've got, like, every ending. But there is, of course, one other thing that we could do. And that is, you know, just hang out. It's women and children first, so technically we shouldn't have been able to get off the boat. You made it. We could try give it, just giving our stuff to Penny. Maybe she'll survive. Hey. How is the mission going? It's not bad. I mean, in this version, I guess I don't have the painting. Hadelitz must have given it to someone. Did he have any friends? How are we going to get these objects off the boat? The sailors are giving priority to women and children. If worse comes to worse, give me the evidence. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. There are still quite a few boats left. Well, I haven't had the option yet to actually give her anything, but maybe, like, right at the end, maybe I will have the option. And, you know... Oh, yeah, it's you two. No, gotta finish something. You know, you really should get off the boat. You're far too picky about the boat you Isn't use. The My dear, how did you ever miss them? In the gymnasium, JJ was dissecting one of these wretched jackets to show his wife. Horrid. They go with nothing. Nothing. Couldn't be more tiresome. Though White did go with JJ's blue suit. But then he always cuts a figure. The Astor men. Such sharp dresses, such prizes, as she figured out. Um, who figured out? Madeline, his child. Oh, right, that's right. Imagine he married a 19 year old. John Jacob Astor, a divorced man marrying a 19 year old from Brooklyn, too. In what I do, she became like creme brulee, too rich to digest. Social disaster. They were cut, my dear, cut dead. So John took her abroad to Egypt, where they and Mrs. Brown, that dreadful miner's wife, were thicker than thieves, of which Cairo is infested, I assure you. Anything else? I must find my boat. I must. I can't just go with anyone. Yeah, I mean, you... Doesn't sound like you go with anyone. Also, I wonder if there's a reason why... I don't there are I don't think there are any actual historical figures shown in this game, are there? Like we never actually can meet the Astors um or or the Strausses or Guggenheim. We can or the actual captain. 
or Ismay, uh, none of the actual people are seen in this. So I wonder if there's a reason for that. Like, did they not want did the makers of the game not want to risk getting into any issues, any potential issues with the estates of these people? Especially if, you know, maybe like someone like the Asters are shown in a not as so positive light or something. I don't know. Is that, is that, is that not anyone? She's not moving. How much time do we have? Actually, that's quite a bit of time. And at this point, we have just the necklace. So, I guess while we're waiting to die, probably should give some final thoughts about this game. Um, so, I really enjoyed playing this. Like, it is a little bit, a little bit clunky. It's a little bit clunky in terms of um, just moving around and getting a handle on exactly how the game works. But uh, I've haven't, I've had a really good time playing this, and I really like, you know, as I mentioned, I really like just how the game looks and how these facial expressions look. It's a really weird decision to like take multiple pictures of people making faces and then just like put them together into different expressions and then I guess they had to sync them up with the voice lines that were being said. And that sounds like that would take some extra some extra work. That would take some time to actually sync everything up like that, wouldn't it? Um, it seems like it would. I don't think I have to do anything to make time le to make time jump. Maybe I, maybe I have to talk to people. Six and eight have gone. Help now. I'm busy. Also, for the most part, most of the puzzles were not that difficult to figure out. Like when you think about it, okay, maybe I'd have to talk to someone to get that to happen. Keep your hands well inside the boats. Uh, when you think about, like, point-and-click adventure games from the time, the thing that comes up is how illogical many of them are. But in this, I didn't have much of a difficult time. Uh, you can go get shot, by the way. Uh-oh, my mouse. I didn't have that much of a difficult time working out what I should do or where I should go. Like, it is a bit confusing at first. Um... Away from it's a bit confusing at first to figure out because you don't really have any information at all. And then you have to just put it all together, work out what it is that you're doing here. Um, but as far as like logical solutions to the things you're doing, not that difficult to figure th figure things out. Like there was the bomb. Sailors threatened to throw me on the next boat. I just want to give you my items. I can hold my own a little longer. The bomb is a really oh yeah. Take the evidence. Yes, if it comes to that, but there must be some way to get off this ship. Time's running short. Try to comp You have a few more minutes. Yeah, so... There's the bomb, which I wasn't able to figure out, but they let you just skip that puzzle. There were some things like... The Rubiot, like putting it in a different hiding place, which... Was a logical thing to do, but I just didn't know, um... My dear, that you could do it that way, and it was just like pure luck that I actually ended up doing it. No, I don't. I doubt I would have ever, ever been able to see them, Miss Cashmore. Leaving? If you see the Astors, do tell them Daisy wants to go in their boat. It'll be such fun. Talk. Don't, don't forget their boat. I only travel with the best. Goodbye. And. uh... So there were some things that were a little difficult to figure out, but everything was pretty logical. Everything, there wasn't... You know, it wasn't that much difficulty in working out what you had to do. Not much in the way of just weird moon logic in this particular adventure game. I think this game also has a whole lot of personality. It's not like a dry, you know, entirely serious game. It's very funny. Not always intentional, but sometimes it is. Um... And like I said, I just had a really good time playing it. I can uh, I can see why this game is generally held in high opinion. And thank you to the people who did recommend playing it. There were a couple people who did right suggest one. trying I, this one out. I can't just go with anyone. 
And considering this game came out, I think, in 96, I think that this does hold up very well. Whoops. Time's growing short. I know. Just take, just yes. take it. Take the evidence. Take the evidence, Penny. What is it? Most of my boats are gone. They're for boat 15. I'll use my pistol to change your mind. Stand back! Okay. Women and children first. Others... You've not found a... You are wrong. All right. Right, and the water begins to fill. All right. You still haven't gotten on a boat, huh? You sure do take your time getting over here. The boats, I can't find them. Everyone's gone. The officer, he wanted to put me in a boat with people I didn't know. But it's not that bad, is it? We won't die. No, we won't. The boats. I must find the right one. The right boat. Uh, try to save yourself. The boats. I must find the right one. I must. I can't go with just anyone. Penny, where are you? I want to. I, I want to give you what I have. No, well, you're not here. Yeah, can I not talk to her anymore? Because I don't see her around. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I just was never able to uh to give her anything. I do have the Rubiot and the, um, the, the thing, you know, the real necklace. I have these things. But, uh, I guess Penny left with the lifeboats. Wow, uh, you're really large? It seemed like my eyes came up to your crotch. Um, is there room on the lifeboat? There are still women waiting. Can you help me? Keep them calm. I'll see what I can do. What can I do to help? The last thing we need to write. Okay. Return here in a few minutes. There may be room. No promises now. Just come back. Don't forget. See, look how tall he is. He's a giant. Well, not many people to talk with at this point. Well, I noticed you didn't get off. You are proving surprisingly hard. No. Oh, but you must. What are you talking about? I don't believe you. No. As you wish. If you decide that. No. As you wish. Still looking for that right boat, are you? Oh, still looking for that right boat. And you didn't get a boat either, huh? God has declared the Titanic a ship of destiny. She's sinking. Down we go. Down to Davy Jones' locker. Get ready. We're going to meet the Maker. Remember Paul's shipwreck? His fellow passengers were spared, but only if they declared their trust of God. They did so and were saved. Now my question. To what city was Paul sailing? Jerusalem? Caesarea? Or Rome? And you love your trivia. You are wrong. Now, if you'll excuse me, we must prepare. Would you have given me another clue if I got that right? Because he did give me a clue when I uh, answered the first one correct. Alright, we're 
almost done. Well, have you already seen this a bunch of times? All right. Just hanging out, just waiting. Music is getting intense. If anyone believes praying helps, start now. It's the end, lads. So long. It's the end now, mate. Not enough bolts for the rest of us. It's all, mate. It's over. We all seem pretty calm about that. Oh, hey, is that Trask? I didn't know you came up here at the end. I wondered when you'd rematerialize. We're in a bit of a spot, don't you think? I think these are the options we had before. Me? Yeah. Lord. We already had this conversation with him. You'll find him where he's all And I don't need to bet anything with him. I suggest a hand of I know. Still hanging out here. My dear, there's simply no time to talk. I must find my boat. Well, good luck with that. It's around here somewhere. Surely. Are you a person? Sorry. Oh hey, it's you. There's really nothing more to say. Yeah, I guess not. Oh. I have your necklace, but I guess it doesn't matter now. If you decide against helping me, she will die. But I, if you I don't know if you're paying attention to what's going on, Zidal. No. As you wish. But how tragic for the lovely Lady Georgia. Did we just go back in time 10 minutes? Because that was like past 2 o'clock. But we haven't been on the ship this long before. Anyone else to talk to? How we all doing? We did our job. We did it right to the end. Best of luck to you. And you. Maybe there's a bottle floating in the bar. Sure, why not? Let's go check it out. Ain't seen any lads from below, have you? Poor blighters. They have no hope now. It'll be sand for breakfast. Good luck. Mm-mm. Tasty sand. Hey, Morrow. What's going on? What is it? The lifeboats are away. There's no more. The bastards. They didn't have enough for everybody. Tell them. Tell them we did our best. Now, I'm here with you. Like, I'm not apparently going anywhere. There's really nothing more to say. Zidal, you still... Oh, that's Trask. Oh, hey, you're up here. Still here? You know, I finally met Strauss. He was putting his wife in the boat, but she'd have none of it. Told him she was staying. With him. It's louder than a white sail out here. It's the end, Pally. Nice knowing you. You'd have made it on Spruce Street, you know? See you around. Aw, oh, thanks. You have a lift? Get what you need and go. Damn nuisance, this physical plane. Miss it at all. Well, I'm glad you're happy about it. Remember, everything that happens tonight, it's important. Not everything. Change the past. Now, change the future. And I guess you're still waiting for the right boat as well. The boat. I must find Gotta the find right that right boat. Right boat. But it's not that bad, is it? We won't die. No, we won't. Just keep up that positive thinking. The dry land was made to rise from the water, and our little piece of dry land, this floating palace, shall be lowered back into its depths. Prepare. We're going to meet the Maker. No trivia questions this time. 
Was that guy really the last person I spoke with before I died? We just go back to this, huh? Can't press OK. All right, that's it. We died, so we do not change the future. And even if we did, we wouldn't know about it because we're dead. And uh, that would be it for... That wasn't really an ending. Um, That was just the ship went down, and then we don't see anything else because we're dead. And that it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, I guess that's it for Titanic. There's also that tour mode that we saw on the menu. If we do that, like all that is, is you get like free roaming of the ship. And some of the NPCs are there to tell you about the historical facts about the Titanic. But uh, we don't really have that much time tonight. Uh, and all it is is basically just walking around the same ship that we've already seen. Uh, so what we did tonight was we got, I, I assume that is all the endings. The, um, all the combination of items that we can get, we did get. Um, all of the different timelines that we could have made, we did make. And, uh, you know, some, some events happened that might be questionable in their historical authenticity you know you know maybe some of the things are a little bit of a stretch but um we got all of the different combinations that we could have gotten and we found out just how important the ti the events on the titanic were to historical events no one knew I mean, everyone knew, you know, everyone had like a lot of curiosity about the Titanic. It's a famous event, and a lot of people have done a lot of research into it, but no one knew that there was the potential to stop both world, world wars, to stop the communist revolution. No one had any idea of any of that, that the Titanic shaped world events for decades, no, centuries to come. And I guess with that, that it is the finish, the end of our playthrough of Titanic, Adventure Out of Time. I greatly enjoyed the game. Um, like I said, I had a lot of fun playing it. I think a lot of people had personality, and uh, I was invested in a lot of these characters. But that is the end. We, I think we've seen just about everything we can see. So I hope that you enjoyed adventuring with me through the titanic and changing timelines and uh just getting this little taste of a 1996 adventure game have a good night everyone and uh we'll you know we'll have we'll ha we'll keep memories of the titanic and all of these characters that we met in our minds we'll always remember trask remember penny remember morrow uh remember georgia even though we barely really interacted with her but she gave us a necklace and then we saved her from poison in one particular timeline and of course we will always remember sweet willie von haderlitz and our fencing match with him have a good night as we think about the titanic <laughs>